Hi guys, it's Ali for alinspired.com and another session of Ask Ali K. Now the question I got today was, Dear Ali, where did Autotest freaking put the Keep Faces Together option in the extra tools? Thank you. Right, so let's head over and do it. Hi, welcome to Maya. Now the problem people have been having is very simple, is if you go to the Polygons tool set, and then just go to where it says edit mesh you see there's no section that says keep faces together nothing if you go through all that in the mesh tools nothing even in the mesh nothing they've totally changed these tools around and they've taken it out but this is where I come in I'm going to show you how to do it it's very simple so if we just create a sphere I know this everybody who teaches extrude just does this same thing drives me nuts but it's the quickest thing and the fastest way to teach you and explain everything so just scale this up really big okay now let's turn the grid off I don't want the grid so yeah turn it off so it's like that okay now if we just select the faces let's just select all the faces and then if we go to uh, mesh, edit mesh, and then just go to under face section. Now you see there's three edges. There's a face edge, extrude. There's an edge extrude, and there's a vertex extrude. You now you have to be really careful which one you select. Now if you're working with faces, then you select the faces one. If you're working with the edges, you select the edges one. Because when I first started with playing around with 2015, I kept clicking the edge extrude and I end up with nothing or I need to extrude a face I select a face I end up extruding the edge and I keep thinking to myself hang on a minute why is nothing happening why is the edges coming up and I keep doing it and doing it and doing it until I figure out that you know they kind of split up so let's go to edge extrude just select the extrude make sure everything is reset and then just click extrude now if I just pull on this you can see everything is extruding now we don't want that so just undo now you can either go into into the attribute editor sorry the channel box go down near the bottom and it says under keep faces together turn that to just put zero on that and it turns it off and then what happens is if we stretch this out the faces split up yeah, but that takes too long. The other way of doing it is go to the ch the attribute editor and then under extrude, uncheck this. But again, that takes too long. The other way they've done it is they've put it in the modeling tool here. And you need to select. So let's just undo this. And then if you select the faces again and then click extrude here. If we go down a bit under keep faces together turn that off and if we just click and drag on the screen it will show how to do it yeah and I'm again I'm clicking with the left button on here okay again this is good but again it's too long especially when you if you're coming through to, from 2015 sorry 2014 and below we didn't have the modern modern toolkit so this is all new. Until unless you're used to it now, it's ideal. But some people like the old way, like I do. Okay, so undo this, turn this off. Yeah, close this. The other way, which I found is both faster and a lot easier, is just select your faces, go to edit mesh, extrude, then press. If you're using a Windows you press control shift if you're using a Mac command shift and right click and then just toggle keep face together and that's it very simple command shift right click okay now you need to do that for every face you select well and there you have it and the question so now remember if you would like your question answered please don't hesitate to contact you can hashtag us on hashtag AskAliK, tweet to us at Alan Spired, 
or tweet to me at alikarim360. You can also drop a comment on Facebook. So that's www.facebook.com forward slash alanspired or leave a comment below. And remember, please like, subscribe and share. Thanks.